Proposed housing reform housing for all in Trinidad and Tobago. Please read text in comment section or closed caption. Housing is a major area and viewed as the right best way to ensure the state gets you one. The survival and therefore not subject to monetary value, in other words, the state shall spend as is adequate to house citizens. To be clear the state of Trinidad and Tobago is the most endowed oil and gas producer, and thus third richest the whole Caribbean. Following this policy would greatly diminish stress, desperation and crime. As stands many citizens live poor and getting ever increasingly so, therefore unable to afford land nor house. Doubtlessly many adults are unable to be independent and own a residence and call their own. Should trouble the compassionate to no end many thousands live as squatters. Reported as of 2016, 55,000 families. Suggested split accommodation into a government constructed for family size and single tenants in houses and apartments. B. Subsidizing privately built home construction to a certain percentage of cost. No government structures built sturdy and disaster ready to reduce maintenance and rebuilding costs long term. Energy management systems and renewable energy implemented also. Following policies are 1. Universal Housing Board comprising experts, tasked with enabling state policy. 2. Law Each citizen has an alienable right to accommodation codified it shall be into state law. Authorities will have to in their power facilitate a home. Elimination of homelessness and poverty is an objective. 3. Universal Housing. A. In Port of Spain poor people moved from derelict areas to new government-made low-cost quality homes at minimal rent, as affording a decent home is outside their means as in Libya's case. This a local form of affordable housing. In Trinidad proposed should a person ignore warnings to pay, is deducted from their GMI guaranteed minimum income state given wealth share, till such time as that person resumes pay. The old structures in the above repurposed are demolished, same for Laventil, Bethlehem and throughout both islands, as well as all squatters, there must be no board houses in this country. C. This construction extends to every low-income poor who pay nothing to occupy these government-constructed dwellings, save for minimal rent, a system similar to the demolished housing development corporation, but actual good middle-class quality homes. The ex-vagrants pay no rent. The middle-income people also qualified to purchase a home get 50% subsidy. B. Those building their own homes. The middle-income non-destitute their home construction and land purchase is subsidized by government 30%, the high-income rich 25%. The construction money goes to material suppliers and not owners. The flow income earners are to be eradicated by the livable earnings policy. G. This housing scheme cannot be advantaged by unjust enrichment and is regulated. For example eight homes brought at half cost under subsidy are rented expensively, in that case the homes cannot fall under subsidy. A means test is in action to determine the economic class of any qualifying citizen. 4. Housing Development Corporation the HDC is subject to investigation and dismantled, the leadership no longer holding housing positions, lengthy delays to get housing which can be substandard, is incompetence and at worst corruption reform, with another agency created in its place. The HDC lottery system promotes winners and losers is superseded by a program of constructing many affordable homes that is guaranteed to citizens, and long waits are rendered to the past. Note to reiterate, the new housing scheme provides both free and subsidized housing. 5. Residential tiny homes for now just a proposal. The state's second compact home program. Small, equipped with water, cooking area, solar. Are given to low and middle income earners free of charge, who are responsible for all bills. Inspired by Cass Community, Detroit, USA. 6. Single tenant apartment minimal rent for a period of several years, then handed over to the occupant, no mortgage. Narrow, tall, 8 square meters, layout inspired by Tokyo, Japan. 7. Family-sized homes government builds in mass and the most common home type constructed. Designed with three bedrooms, two toilets, rent is minimal, similar cost to the low hundreds HDC charges, and situated as middle class. No mortgage asked. 8. South Korean apartments compact Gosawin and Hisukjib are studied by Trinidad for potential implantation here. Local application must be affordable to renters. 9. Petrocasa the quick to build Venezuelan construction of PVC and cement under consideration for mass housing. 10. Mass housing construction further negating the HDC lottery system is ample state construction of enough homes in sufficient numbers. The key way to end the housing crisis. 11. Housing and rural development and beatification rural countryside and underdeveloped places like Laventil and Beatham will see government investment. More than fixing drains and roads. Poor and slum areas will be beatified resembling a middle-class bayshore fairways in Goodwood Park, wealth inequality erased. 12. Reduce construction costs buying and building a home are exorbitant. Efforts made to trim that such as investigate the hardware industry and management. 13. Housing loan in general not favored are home loans, but mid-income earners qualify with favorable terms the 50% subsidy remains. 14. 
Housing tech government will fund studies and invest in concepts. Exporting is a distinct possibility. 15. Rent and mortgage for those not owning a state-provided home or subsidized one, efforts made to reduce rent cost, and the amount of people actually renting by ways of free and subsidized housing, and investigating rent practices. Same with mortgage. 16. Removing people from flood-prone land be it farmland and such are eligible for affordable housing. 17. Clean energy homes are enacted in various ways. Solar panels freely installed and sugarcane-powered power plants. This way less fossil fuels consumed in gas power plants.